Right, everybody, hello. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the final of the 2022 Sunningdale Force. And we've just seen the two tee shots there. Jimmy Roof and Paul Hendrickson going up against Lottie Wode and Rachel Gawley. We're here at the first now. It is match play, of course, it's foursomes, but there's a handicap system in play as well. That does mean Rachel Gawley and Lottie Wode get 10 shots. Can you believe that? 10 shots on Jimmy Roof and Paul Hendrickson. Very, very interesting indeed. We're going to head down the first very, very shortly. This is one of the holes where they get a shot as well. So let's get in the buggy. Let's get ourselves down there, shall we, and catch up with the action and move ourselves down. We're going to stay live for every single shot as it happens, as you can appreciate, it's chucking it down here as well. <laughs> Just make sure I'm in the right buggy. I certainly am. And it's a lovely crowd to see as well. Brave in the conditions here. If you tuned in a little bit earlier, thank you for the semi. And exclusive. You can see uh, caddying for Rachel. He's head pro up at Farnham. He's actually Lottie Wode's coach as well. So as I say, it's been a long week for these players. And they've had to come through an awful lot of matches. Jimmy Reef and Paul Hendrickson, round one, they beat Brendan McKenna and Ellen McGivens. Round two, they uh, defeated Ian Atto and Tom Hawkins in the third round. Michael Bullsover and Richard Fish, fourth round. They took down Katie Will and Will Hobbs. In the quarterfinals, they defeated Andrew Frayne and David Griffiths. And they saw them defeat Alice Houston and Ben Brewer. For the two girls, Rachel Gawley and Lottie Wode. I'll come to that shortly, whilst uh, Rachel Gawley is going to play the second shot. Remember, it's par five to begin with. They do get a shot here as well at the first. Paul Hendrickson, Jimmy Roof, just a little bit further on, likewise in the rough. Now, due to the handicap system, as I said, both girls get 10 shots. Male professionals play off plus one, which uh, both Jimmy and Paul are. Uh, lady amateurs play off four, hence the uh, 10 shots. Male amateurs play off zero, off scratch, and lady professionals play off two. So we've got two pros against, uh, two male pros against two female amateurs. It is absolutely battering us here as we make our way down to the first. 
So two shots played each. Remember the guards do get the advantage on this hole. There is Richard Gordy and Lottie Road. And that is for Lottie, that is Dad on the bag. For Rachel, she's got Luke Bone on the bag. Now you can watch live sport in 2022 on our YouTube channel, Live Sport Now. Plenty of golf coming up for you this year. We've got the Faldo Series, we've got some 2020 Pro Tour, we've got England golf events. You can watch it all live. Let's see if we can get Luke. Give us a wave. There he is. <laughs> I've just seen the ball there, actually. Sorry, Liam. There we go. The comments coming in as well. Beach phrase, everyone from DHG Media and followers wish Paul and James all the best. And yes, Beach, you're right, 10 shots. Uh, yes, it's a lot. Hopefully you get your comments coming in. This is Lottie World. Jimmy, Ruth and Paul Hendrickson uh, are up against it, certainly at this first hole, but this is one of the holes where Rachel and Lottie get an extra, well, they get the advantage to get a shot. And look at that, they've put it close as well. What can the two gentlemen do? Run long. As you can appreciate, we're trying to protect ourselves as much as possible with the bucky here today. You can see the brollies up. The forecast is only to get worse, or would you believe it? Uh, that lucky is. Yes. Uh, there you go. Roman B last year. So it deteriorate quite rapidly. It's the reason why this morning we were out so early. We were out at 8 a.m. I think it was originally due to schedule to start at about 9.30. But in order to make the best of the conditions, we got out for the first semi-final at 8 a.m. So at the first hit, it is a par five. Rachel Gordy and Lottie Wode. Big opportunity to take an early lead and go one up here.
So there we go, that's quick already. Uh, they did have the shot of T-Road. Go one up here. Now we're gonna stick down actually through the trees here, Leon, just to make your life a little bit easier. Whilst we do Luke for now, we will chat with him very shortly, but of course they split off. So uh, Rachel Gordy gonna take a tee shot for the girls and uh, we've got Jimmy or Paul going up to the tee box. And I'm going to get out of the way of the camera so you can see these shots. Now, as we've come to the second, actually, the weather's not quite as bad as we thought it would be. So, the second here on a sunny day, of course. 470 from the markers. Sweeps round to the left. It's almost a blind tee shot. Uphill, but nice and wide. Very inviting indeed. There is a, a road path actually that goes across. And we did see a little bit earlier, Lottie and uh, Rachel had to get a bit of free relief from it. That was in their semi-final. Now, of course, we're going to stay live right to the end as well for this. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Stick with it. Wherever you're watching us from, do tell us. We do want to hear from you. We are broadcasting to uh, a lot of our partners as well overseas. Big thank you to our partners in uh, for Golf Asia over in Singapore. And, of course, our UK distribution as well. Golf Monthly Magazine, National Club Golfer, Today's Golfer, Women in Golf Magazine, Golf Magic. Big thank you. And, of course... Uh, also to the likes of Northern Golf, uh, Golf North Magazine, Golf South Magazine. A huge thank you for having us long for the ride here at the Sunnydale Foursomes. It is the final. We're at the second here. And it's Rachel Gawley on the tee. Uh, unfortunately, with the sky being bright white, I think I've missed it too. It's gone off to the right a bit, but it's okay. So the players coming towards us now. We'll see if we can grab a quick word with uh, Luke Bone as well, actually. He's caddying. Gets him in sight. He'll be uh, pleased with the start from his team. Of course, he's the coach of Lottie Woe, but he's on the bag for Rachel Gawley. And it's almost as if the rain has sort of stopped a little bit, hasn't it? Let's go up to where the balls are and uh, we can catch up with him there. Do tell us as well if you ever played Sunningdale. We, we do want to know. It's a glorious course, isn't it? Have you played the old course? Have you played the new course? Tell us. What you With spectators. The officials and the staff here at Sunningdale. A similar position to their semi final shot. Asking a few spectators to get out of the way. Green is down that ditch over the ridge of the bunker in front of you, down the hill. Yeah, 
Luke. Hello. Happy with the start then? Must be. Yeah, great start. Um, first thing we noticed is that the ball went nowhere compared to this morning because it's such a cold wind. Yeah. Temperatures dropped about five degrees. Um, but yeah, solid, solid approach shot from Lottie there. Puts the pressure on these boys straight away. Uh, another, another shot hole here. So uh, yeah, let's hope it continues. Thank you. Rachel Gawley. There he goes, marching in front of your screen. Let's get ourselves down to the green and get a closer look at the action as it's happening. Here is the road that uh, runs right across the second fairway, as you can see. I think they're going to let it go. We'll uh, launch it over. There we go. Look, Racing along. I'm just going to cut down the other side, actually, so we can whiz straight through. Yes, we are live. Yes, we are right in the middle of it. So uh, we, uh, there will be little gaps in between, of course, as we whiz around. But Rachel Gawley and Lotta, they are one up through one against uh, Paul Hendrickson and Jimmy Ruth here in the final. The two pros against the two lady amateurs. Both England golf representatives. In fact, Lottie Wode has just been called up to... buggy race now I think but and we'll get a first uh, look here at the second where the balls have landed par four we were to play off the same tees hence the reason there's such a severe handicap now, but Rachel Gawley's 17 years old, Lottie Wode has just turned 18, up against the two pros of Jimmy Roof and Paul Hendrickson, who have uh, been in exemplary form so far this week. Now this green, as uh, the ball's run long, hasn't it? It's gone right off the back. This is a hole, as we heard from Luke, where the girls get another shot. So here we are, the second green. Paul Hendricks and Jimmy Roof have put it right onto the green. However, it does slope downhill off to the left. Now we're seeing a similar shot we saw a little bit earlier of Rachel. She's probably going to play this high 60 degree wedge in her hand. It's a very, very tricky part. We've had rain though, so the greens have slowed down somewhat. They were running at 10 a little bit earlier. Is this going to break? Let's watch. So third shot. Oh, I 
magnificent. Appreciative round of applause. I think Rachel's just asking, saying to Lottie, what do you think? I think Lottie nodded ahead to say give it to them, but I think uh, it might have been a few inches further back than she thought it might have been. So here is Rachel Gawley. She had an identical shot earlier this morning. Watch it float nice and high and she put it within a couple of feet. Can she do the same now? Lovely shot. Yes, she can. So, uh, if I've counted correctly, because that's third shots with both, so if they sink that, they will win the hole, because once again, this is another hole where the girls get a shot, start off with back-to-back -back opportunities. So there we go. I'm going to grab the buggy. The rain is coming down now. But uh, confirmation there. Lottie Wode and Rachel Gawley, two up through two. Perfect start for the girls. They were the two holes where they get the advantage. But they've made it count. They've had to make it count, and they have made it count. Two box at a right up. Bar tellers comment below. Uh, it's a big advantage, isn't it? Ten shots for the girls. Move to three, the two up through two. As well as the can. There's a link body of this broadcast, it'll take you straight through to the Sunningdale Golf website. Yeah, that's where you can access the leaderboard. In fact, you can uh, access all of the results as well. If you know you've had a friend or family member playing in the tournament over the last few days, you can check out how they did, where they got to. Of course, 128 pairs started on Tuesday. We're down to two. Now, no shot given here, so it's uh, level pegging at this one. 292 yard par 4. And a thumbs up down there. Probably, probably, probably 
relatively short part four. The temperature, as we heard before from Luke, really has dropped down, hasn't it? We'll catch up with him again uh, at the end of this hole. Let's see what the girls are getting on Rachel over there on the right. What are we looking at in? 80 yards in maybe. Luke playing a big part on the bag. It was Rachel's mum on the bag a little bit earlier, but I think uh, Luke obviously being a pro himself can really give that advice. On the sock sheet. Then we go to the shortest hole on the course, the par three, the fourth. Uphill though, quite severely uphill. Good shot, round of applause. Let's move ourselves up. Quite a generous green here, very flat. Good communication going on, it's going to be Lottie to play. Remember it's alternate shots. It's a foursomes match play, final. Tournament started on Tuesday. Yeah, let's play a lot of golf. Round one, round two, round three, round four, quarterfinals, semi-finals. And it's come down to this, 128 pairs started on Tuesday, now we are down to two. Still work to do, so an opportunity here for Paul Hendrickson and Jimmy Roof, so it's going to be pulled, isn't it, to uh, pull one back. Don't forget Lottie and Rachel, two up through two, this is the third. It's the rain 
rain starts to come down a lot heavier as expected now. Oh, with it, guys. Hendrickson and Ruth win the hole with a three to four. Ford and Gourley are one up. So there we go. The pull one back. It's a tight game. Ruth and Hendrickson now are only one down through three. As we head to the short par three fourth. We'll stand sort of halfway up. You catch the tee shots. Now, as you, there's a very vicious downslope at the very front. Leave it short. You could be in big, big trouble. Put it too long, and you've got a very tricky downhill putt. Nobody said the game was easy. So the fourth, 146 yard on the scorecard. So, Lottie Wide, Rachel Gawley, one up through three in this final of the Sunnydale Forsens 2022. Cancelled last year, of course, due to COVID. Will Percival and Lily May Humphreys were the defending champions. I think they might have made it through to the quarterfinals, though, so they did well in their defence. And as you might expect to have been such a short hole, they, uh, the girls do not get a shot on this. So it's uh, all even on this one, par three. And it's hit the top deck very nicely. Very good, in fact. A round of applause from the people at the top of the hill. Don't you worry, we will go up and get a look at it. Now, Rachel played this shot a little bit earlier as well. She just left it a bit short. It rolled down the slope a little bit. So, an advantage perhaps for the gentleman here. Let's see. Let's hope it didn't get in her head a little bit earlier. Shouts from Luke Bone saying, get up there, get up there. And it has, it's made it up. Right side of the pin, but it's made it up. Right, we're going to go up now and have a look. The girls lead by one. hill up there too so we're going to get ourselves up course but of the elements as well and uh, they've all slightly off the back there
that lotty road here. Gets a good kick. Is it going to be enough? Keep going. It's a good shot, but there's still plenty of work to do. So another opportunity here for Jimmy Roof and Paul Hendrickson to maybe pull this one back. agonising that was to win the hole as well so here we go Rachel's got an opportunity to halve the fourth here in the Sunningdale foursomes final 2022 big big putt here she's only 17 years old is Rachel no stranger to pressure though missed it and we're all square again it's back-to-back uh, -back hole wins now for the two gentlemen as we move to the fifth and it's a beautiful hole we're gonna have a crack advantage point up here so Jimmy Roof, Paul Hendrickson, Lottie Wade, Rachel Gawley all square through four tumbling down now but we start a run of three holes that really do favor the two girls because they get a shot here and at six and at seven and so far it's been as you might expect actually the girls have won the two holes where they've had a shot the two gentlemen have won the two holes where it's been even Stevens so through four we're all square here in the final of the 2022 Sunningdale foursomes. Jimmy Roof, Paul Hendrickson taking on Lottie Wode and Rachel Gawley. The rain is starting to come quite heavy now as well. We don't think there's going to be any risk of the game not being able to finish. We know uh, the course can hold it pretty good. It's not that heavy just yet either. Oh, as I said, it's just due to get worse and worse and worse as the day progresses here. It's outside the beautiful town of Sunningdale, close to Ascot, not too far from Windsor. There you go. Uh, Leon, it might be easier if you walk down the path and I'll drive around and meet you. There we go. It's going to get the buggy. It's about with us.
So here we are at the fifth, over the water. There's no danger for these players. They're all square. And as you can see, the weather, you might not be able to see this issue. It is in it down here now. We want to do a clean screen, so please give us a few just getting rid of the moisture. Rachel Goddy is about to line up her shot as well, so we could time. And what would you hit here? I'm going to ask Luke as soon as we get a chance to find out what's in Rachel's hand here. Look at that lovely arrow straight, it looks as well. Oh, what a shot! He runs off. Luke, just for your run off, uh, it's kind of gone as we might have expected, I suppose. But what was in Rachel's hand there? Cause it looks uh, quite a we had a 144, uh, 8 iron, and it was exactly the same yard as she, as she had this morning. And uh, I think actually. To go you're with. a robot and you hit the ball the same every single time <laughs> then you're going to be left with the same yardage quite a lot um yeah really uh interesting start two up then level oh look at that multitasking by leon as well very impressive driving a buggy and holding the camera impressed indeed For Leon as well, the cameraman, he's, he's having to get in and out. He just sits there, gets soaking wet, doesn't complain. Great job, great job. We are filming all this as well off one camera, hence the reason why we're motoring around the place. Uh, we find it the best way to get close to the action as we possibly can. Walking the course with the players, it doesn't get any better than this. There's no comfy studio for us. I am getting absolutely soaked. I will look like a drowned rat at the end of this. I'll show you later, but you don't want to see my face. You want to see the action that's happening on course. Polly's up everywhere. All square here at five. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. So, Rachel. And Lottie take the hole to move to one up through five. We head to six. And it's another hole where they get a shot as well. So it's going to plan so far, isn't it? 
Rachel Gawley, Lottie Road, one up through five here in the final of the 2022 Sunningdale Foursomes. Uh, I'll show you how wet I am right now, as you can see. Proof that we are walking the course with the players. We are right in the midst of it as well. Uh... <laughs> oh, Rachel. <laughs> Lottie, Lottie, juggling her cuff. And the ball. <laughs> so we come to six. This is a par four. 386 yard on the scorecard from the Whites. Rachel Gordy, Lotti Road, one up against Jimmy Roof and Paul Hendrickson in the final. Oh. We just got to wait for the spectators to move out of the way. Shout out a good shot from Luke Bone, Rachel's caddy. I think that might have been a spectator getting in the way. Jimmy Roof. On the right. Just got a bit of a kick off to the right. I think it's okay. As so we're going to make our way down. The fairway. So remember, do get your comments in. We can see them. We do want to hear from you. And if you want to watch live golf in 2022, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Live Sport Now. There is a link in the body of this broadcast. It will take you straight through to the, uh, our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe. There's plenty of live golf coming up for you. have got the Fowler Series. We've got England Golf 2020 Pro. As well, so basically, if you just export, and also you can access the leaderboard way too, although, of course, now it's. stands at the minute in this final. This is another hole to get a shot as well here at the sixth. Thank you.
The rain is coming down, but it's not as bad as Roman did the yet, is it, Leo? No. I've never known anything like that. Although it's not letting up, it's going to let up. In fact, it's going to get worse. Hot bath tonight for everybody, I think. Not, not all together, but... Now, it's going to be boxy wide with the second. It was a good drive, wasn't it, by Rachel? I think the, uh, both Jimmy and Paul have been exceptional this week. They certainly know they're in a game. As we said at the top of the show, both Jimmy and Paul have to concede 10 shots in this game. This is one of the holes where the girls get a shot. And that looked sensational from Lottie Wode as well. It's a big round of applause from everyone. I'll uh, make up a way up. I'm just trying to see where uh, Jim Paul ended up. I thought they were off to the right. Actually. Did they play the shot? Because I did uh, have to dip off for a call of nature. It's lovely to see a lot of people out here braving the elements. A lot of support for everybody. It's been a lot of love. Please tell us who you are rooting for if you're just enjoying the game. We can see them. If we get an opportunity, we'll, we'll read them out as well. And when we talk to the players afterwards, if there's any particular, particularly nice ones, we'll, we'll read them out to the players as well. So do get your comments in. Oh my word. Wow. Well, well. That is as close as uh, something I won't repeat. I've decided to stand under the only tree in Sunningdale that has no leaves on it at all. So, tell us the uh, wettest condition you've ever played golf in. Where was it? What was it like? If you are watching this on Facebook, I believe you might be able to comment with a picture. So, send us a picture of uh, the wettest golf course you've ever played at. I do remember the girls get a shot at this hole, at the sixth, par four. Oh, 
wonderful. So there we go, Gawley and Awode take these two. So, so far, Gawley and Awode took the first two. Ruth and Hedrickson took the second two. And now, Wode and Gawley have taken the third set of two. So they're two up through six as we head to seven. It's the final of the 2022 Sunnydale Forsen. Luke, Luke, quickly before you run away, buddy. Uh, right, what back, a hole. Back, back to the same position. What a shot that oh, was! Goodness here. me, it must. Yeah, both both shots in from the, the guy's end, uh, and then Lottie there, both to win the three feet. Um, Lottie and Rachel obviously getting the shot. Uh, these guys have just got to grit their teeth and bear it on those sort of, on those, on those sort of scenarios when the girls stick it close with the shots. It's almost impossible to play against. It's almost like a game of tennis, I feel, where the girls have to serve when they've got the one shot. But with 10 shots, of course, the guys have got to break it at some point, otherwise uh, they'll lose. This is not birdie conditions either. The guys need to be making gross birdies, and they are, and then the girls are following, following them in. I mean, phew, in these conditions, what amazing golf this is already. We've seen some great golf already Brilliant. this morning as well, haven't we? Oh, what a day it's been. What a day. It's just a shame the conditions are doing what they're doing because we'd like to float around the course a bit more, but it's very difficult. Still good to see everyone out following it though, isn't it? Wonderful. Cool, yeah. I've got to run. Thank you. <laughs> that uh, once again was the voice of Luke Bone. He's on the back for Rachel Gawley today. Shot that they get. Yeah. Same for everybody, though, isn't it? We, we talk about the conditions. see a ball over here on the left and I can see the two gentlemen over there on the right. Let me move forward a bit Leon, we might get the brolly out here. Best. So hole seven, let's get the yardages for you. So again, another par four, 393 from the whites. That's what we're playing from. And yes, just to confirm, it's the third hole in a row that the girls do get a shot on this hole. It's the last one on the front nine. They're two up through six so far in this final. And the boys are in the sand, unfortunately. There's Jimmy Roof over there. Playing partner, Paul Hendrickson. They've been on fire this week. They were sublime in the semi-final a little bit earlier. Winning it two and one in the end, but at one point they were four up. They were four up through 11. They're playing their, their opponents, Alice Houston and Ben Brewer. Then one, 12-13. And just when you think momentum might be about to change, both Jimmy and Paul, the shrug back took 14. It never really looked like losing it from there. And they didn't. That was earlier today. That was in dry conditions in the semi-final. Oh, how it's changed. When I turned up this morning, it was sunshine at 6.30. What a lovely shot. Yeah, 
rain is just teeming off right now. So here we go, Rachel Gawley. Is that hybrid in hand? It's wonderful to see so many people out and about braving this. Just to remind you how the handicap format works as well. Male professionals play off plus one, male amateurs play off scratch, lady professionals play off two, lady amateurs off four. Hence the reason there's a ten shot swing, both Rachel and Lottie, lady amateurs, Jimmy and Paul. Professional males. And I think it's, is it going to just get up it's well off to the right? It's okay. Down now. No point in borrowing to style my hair this morning. I think we might be able to go this way actually. I'm just going to dip through the trees here. We get a good look at the Sunningdale trees here. As I said before, we want to know have you played it before? We're on the Sunningdale Old Just put the brolly in and then we'll get up to the green for you. Don't go anywhere. There we go, lovely stuff. Just in the nick of time as well. Almost as if we planned this. up and down as I said before Rachel and Lottie do get the advantage here. This is the seventh. It's the last in a trio of shots. For the front nine anyway, they get five on the back nine as well. So far they've taken advantage of it every single time. Can they go three up here through seven?
see around here. The rain is really slowing up these greens. We're at seven. Oh, it's a wonderful putt from Lottie Wade. There you go, and uh, it's conceded for the gentleman. So it's another hole for Lottie Wade and Rachel Gawley. They're three up through seven. Uh, we're going to get back in the buggy. It looks like they're heading up to the top up there. I have to say, I've never been this end of the course before, so uh, I'll go get the buggy, Leon, and we'll go for a bit of exploration. So let's just pop that leaderboard up onto the screen so you can see how things are getting on here. Confirmation. It might just take a minute or two just to catch up, but I can confirm it is Otty Wade, Rachel Body. They're three up through seven. Right, let's put that down because it just hasn't updated yet, has it? So here we are. I'm just to your right, Leon, up the hill. It is a part of 168. There's no shot for the girls here. So it's even Stevens for this one. But it should be at part three as well. They're three up. They've taken advantage so far. The girls won the first two holes. Jimmy Roof. Paul Hendrickson won the second two. Then the girls have won the last three in a row, but they have had a shot at each one. Now it's level pegging. Can they pull something back? Can Jimmy and Paul take advantage of it being even and being the professionals and pull a shot back? Lofty wide, Rachel Gawley, three up through seven. Oh, and that one looks like it's jumped off to the right. I think that was that Rachel on the tee. So an opportunity here for Jimmy and Paul. Oh, lovely shot. That is how you put pressure on.
uh, yeah, certainly work to do for Lottie Road here. Tee shot went well off to the right down the slope, the slope severely as well. Paul Hendrickson, if Jimmy Roof got a big advantage, I think is it going to be Paul who's going to be putting? He'll be certainly very pleased with his playing partner, and Lottie is well down as well. There's a lot of work to do, an awful lot of work to do just to have a chance. And Paul and Jimmy need this really. They are three down through seven. Are about to pull it back to just being two down? He's now run a two holes here and at nine. This is the eighth, of course, par three. You never know. She can get it close. She's capable. Of course, with Lottie last year when she won the English Under-18 Championships at Farnham, at her home club, leading female. Jensen Forrest was the outright winner there. As I said before, Lottie White just been called up to the Curtis Cup squad. Lottie Wade. Oh, I don't think it's going to get up, is it? No. It's not made it up the hill. I wonder if they're going to concede this one. Probably not from here. You may as well take the shot. You never know. You might you might chip in. It's worth a go. In fact, we haven't had a single hole halved yet, have we? Fascinating. This is the eighth. Five wins, five whole wins for the girls, two for the boys so far. Well, the Sunningdale Foursome's continuing a long tradition that started back in 1934. Like to Luke Donald, Sam Torrance, Max Faulkner have all won the Sunningdale Foursome. And traditionally, it was already marked the start of the European golf season. Nice and high. We've seen her Rachel a few times. She's uh, very good at playing those high wedge shots. She makes uh, that 60 degree wedge she's got is a mean weapon. So, a big opportunity here for the boys. This is only their second shot here at the par three. So, two, two chances from here to get it home and to win the hole. Put it close. playing it so it's you know if Lottie puts this away just a little bit of pressure perhaps
oh, this wind is bitter now. The conditions are taking a turn for the worst, as we knew they would. The rain, it's going to sound really odd, but it's that real fat, heavy rain. She's missed it. I think that will be that. Yeah, they've handed the whole to the two gentlemen, so they pull one back. So uh, we are through eight now. It is uh, Lottie Wide, Rachel Gordy. They're two up through eight against Jimmy Roof and uh, Paul Hendrickson. Uh, and full credit to everybody for still sticking around here. Uh, the wind is battering. You might be able to see me. The wind is battering. It is heaving it down with rain here. We'll go this way, Liam, try and get a bit of protection from the trees. These conditions are quite something. Yeah, we're not too far away from getting to the old Roman Bee territory here of uh, levels of rain, but we're gonna keep going. The, the course can handle it. I don't think there's any danger of us not finishing today. We will. We head to the ninth side of front nine very shortly during to a close. Again, there's no shot advantage for the ladies either. It's a par four, two, six, seven, so relatively short. A bit boys. <laughs> Underneath the brolly. Don't get any water on the club base, it's not really okay. Good shot there from Lottie as well. Uh, I've got to go retrieve the buggy. I'll meet you around as we walk up, Leon, and jump in. We'll get you to jump in. I'd grab a word, Luke, but microphone's in the in the thing. So I was just saying. Uh, yeah, the boys just uh, broke back again as we as we expect, but is there an opportunity here? Yeah, well, a little bit of a loose shot from Rachel on that last one, sort of uh, give the hole away. And uh, Lottie's just hit it straight down the middle, 100 yard approach, and the boys look like they're in left hand green side. So, uh, obviously, as we lie, who can get it closer in this next shot? Happy, comfortable, going to plan so far? Yeah, I'm soaking, but apart from that, I'm all good. <laughs> good man, Luke Bone, Lottie Wide's coach. Uh, and on the back for Rachel Gawley today. Well, we make something of the weather, don't we? It's actually quite good fun. Spice to the day, doesn't it? Not even need much more. It is, of course, the Sunningdale foursomes. It's the final round. 
what a week it's been here. It would be typical that today is the worst day of the week weather-wise. It has been absolutely glorious other than that. Just wondering, Leon, if you want any protection, are you OK? Good man. Can we get a few positive, happy comments, please? Messages of support for our cameraman, Leon. He's walking around in the rain. He's got a brolly over the camera, doing it to bring you the very best live golf possible. Thank you, Leon. It is very tricky conditions indeed to film in, let alone play in. Now, we thought the boys might be in a touch of bother. hole the girls have had that one shot they have won every time a hole there's been no advantage the gentlemen have won this is one of those holes right now where there is no shot advantage and for the first time really in the game it looks like the girls might have a bit of an advantage here if they can halve the hole or win it then it could be big it's gone a bit long though by rachel We knew it was coming now. Yes. Yeah. It's the wind, you see. Mm. As it swells and that. It's been lovely all week, hasn't it? Yeah. I turned up at half six this morning. It's beautiful sunshine and warm weather. How was the breakfast? All right. Didn't have it. You didn't have it? Didn't have it, no. No time for the breakfast here. I've heard very good things though. You're doing this live all the way through? I am. I'll probably have to make a battery change at some point. But. You're giving them 10 shots, aren't they? Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Especially when these girls are right there. It's how it's gone so far. Every hole they've had the shot, they've won. Every hole it's been, even Stevens, the two chaps have won. All the way right through. There. Mm. This is um, an even hole too, so... Oh, get in. Oh, my word. Lottie Wode, incredible. Wow. Breaks their heart. It heaps the pressure on these boys, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's the first time in their final, isn't it, these two? Yeah. 
Rachel's 17, Lottie's only 18. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks oh, for the brolly. Appreciate it. He's good. It's good. We don't want to lose this. No. <laughs> uh, right. So we move on, and uh, the girls did what they needed to do on that hole. Just chat to one of the spectators. You might have heard there. The one thing uh, we do enjoy about being live. So the front nine is now complete. And we head to 10. And 10 is part four, four, six, seven, I believe, from now pretty much all the way in. It's every other hole that the girls get a shot, starting here, which they do. So the girls get a shot here as well. So they start the back nine in a strong position. So Rachel Gordy, Lottie Wode, we're here at the final. They're two up through nine as we start the back nine here. And here at the 10th, they get a shot as well. It's a par four. Leon, come have a seat. You, you look like you need it. <laughs> he does. He's nodding his head, rightly so. It does add an extra challenge, doesn't it, broadcasting in this sort of weather. We are live, of course. We're going to stay live all the way through to the finish as well. But so far, it's going to plan for Rachel Gawley and Lottie Wide, the two up against Jimmy Roof and Paul Hendrickson, who, uh, by the way, very well, uh, but of course, the... the reason to get 10 shots is the handicap system. Male chaps are the girls, both uh, lady amateurs, of course. Rachel's only 17, Lottie's only 18. They play off plus four, stick it together. And you get 10. Hence. Now, here on in, all the way home. 10th, they get a shot. 11th, they don't. 12th, they get a shot. 15th, 16th, they get a shot. 17th, they don't. It's been pretty exciting. In fact, the ninth hole was the very first hole we've had so far where they went all square. Other than that, it's sort of gone how you might expect, really. The girls taking the point in every single hole they've had the shot, and the two chaps taking the point. So I think you just saw my nose there coming across. There you go. 
We'll uh, head down and swing the buggy around to the other side. Actually, we might get a better approach shot in. Try not to run Luke Bone over whilst we go. I'll do tell us as well. Comment below the worst conditions you've ever played in. What was it like? Have you ever had to walk off a course because of the weather? Tell us. A link in the body of this broadcast that will take you straight through to the Sunnydale Golf Club website. Do give it a click. You can actually access the leaderboard too. Uh, you can see all of the results, how they've panned out this week. Of course, this is the final. But if you've got friends or family or just want to see how uh, a particular play got on, you can check out their results on the website. We are broadcasting live from Sunningdale. Live golf now, part of Live Sport now. If you want to watch Live Sport in 2022, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, there's a link in the body of the broadcast to that as well. If you haven't already, give it a click. Hit subscribe if you watch Live Golf. Here we are at Sunningdale. We've got Faldo Series coming up for you in 2022 as well. We've got some 2020 Pro Tour action. We might even have a little bit of challenge tour. Who knows? Uh, we're England golf events as well. We also bring you live motorsport, the men's and women's Premier Handball League, and live football as well. What can we say? It's all live, it's all free, it's in HD. It's live sport now on YouTube. That was a great drive by Rachel, wasn't it? Here's Lottie. Second shot for the girls. They have a shot at this hole, par four tenth here at Sunnydale on the old course. Riddled with bunkers is the tenth. There's a big one left for the danger. I think that shot went a bit right. How nice is it to see the crowd still out? Still sticking with it. Right, let's make our way down, shall we? Stay here, Leon. Stay here. Don't be going anywhere. I'll give you a lift down. I said earlier in the semi-finals, I said if you do, please do. Uh, I mean, still do come down if you want. We've, we've got to come down for a drink. Uh, and if you do have your waterproofs on, we'd love to see you out on the course as well. Why not? The so Sunningdale Forsen start of the golf season in Europe. Iconic tournament. It really, really is. It's a wonderful format. Yeah. There we 
we go. We've got the halfway hut up here too. And uh, actually, we're just right by the 11th tea box too. Now, I'm going to have a quick chat with somebody. I'm going to chat to Lottie Wode's dad. Let's see if I can quickly grab a quick word. Happy so far? Yep, we're pretty pleased at the moment, yeah. It's, uh, what, we're two up? Uh, two up, yes. And the girls yep. have still got um, five shots, including one here. So, yes. So it was, it's a good game. It's some brilliant golf being played. So it's been an excellent game, isn't getting it? Getting birdies on six is unbelievable today in, oh. in this weather. So, <laughs> so no, great. See, see what happens in the back nine. Proud dad. Oh yeah, very much. Yeah. <laughs> There's a proud mum over there as well. Well, two proud mums now. Yes. My wife's just turned up. <laughs> Jolly good. Thanks for talking to us. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to try and stay dry somewhere. I think. Uh, it's Lottie White out there. Uh, he's on the back. I don't know if you heard that, but I was just catching up with Lottie's dad. I hope you did hear it. He's a very proud dad. So remember, this is a hole of the temp where the girls do get that shot as well. There's Jimmy Roof. Paul Hendrickson have played so well all week. It's, it's, it's a bit of a mountain to climb, isn't it? Ten shots, it's an awful lot. But they're in this, they certainly are. for both but as I said the girls get the shot advantage so There's not too wide. Stick over the pot. Just needed a bit more on it, didn't it?
He's made it, surely. Oh. So, that does mean Rachel Gorney off to a win the hole as well. So, to win hole 10, they move to three up through 10. So, all going to plan so far for Lottie Wode and Rachel Gawley. I'm going to watch the tee shots here. So, we head to 11. It's a 298 yard par 4. Stroke index 15. And there's no extra shot, no shot for the girls here. So, even Stevens, is this an opportunity for the chaps to pull one back? We're just having to wipe lenses and not just camera lenses, glasses as well. It does add to the excitement, doesn't it? It adds to the mystery, it adds to the intrigue. It certainly adds to the challenge as well. So a lot of work to do in this back nine for Paul Hendrickson and Jimmy Roof. So they came into it with a tall order as well, but we know We've got the ability. This is far from a done deal yet. Lottie Wilder, Rachel Gawley, three up through ten here in the final of the 2022 Sunningdale Fulsons. It's a thumbs up over there, so it's good. Leon, I'm going to start walking down and get the buggy, and I'll pick you up. Gone right, gone right. Big opportunity for the girls here. I'm back. I just had to go for a, another call of nature. Fortunately, the halfway hut is just behind us. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you can see how wet I am. It's uh, soaking. It's great fun, though. I have to say, the atmosphere is incredible here at Sunningdale, despite the weather. Not a surprise. We knew it was going to rain. Hence the reason why we came out so early. For the 
swap time. Me and Paul first went out. Rachel and Lottie in the second semi-final behind them at 8.15. Out due to the uh, forecast, which has proved to be absolutely spot on so far. We wanted to get out early to make sure we could. Chuck is not completing here because it's, it's fantastic condition. And it's been a nice week all week, so uh, it's not as if we've had to contend. That. The course is fantastic. Big shout out to everybody here at Sunningdale as well. Front, no. And uh, if you look at that, we thought it went. Right, have they played the shot? Yeah, they've, they've played, haven't they? So I'm just trying to see. Oh, there, they're over on the right now. I don't know if you can see them just in the. Uh, with a heather over there on the right. It's going to look. So the, uh, the tee shot from the gents. Who was it? Who hit it? Paul, I think. I think it's Paul, yeah. Yeah, he's hit it right, and there's so many little ditches that you don't even realise are there, and I think he's in one, uh, and I think they might be taking some relief for that. Right. Girls have just hit it middle of the green. They're, they're, they're taking line and distance there, I think, so they're going back yeah. as far as they can. It's a shot penalty. Um, Rachel and I there just thought, well, I mean, wherever they were going to be wasn't going to be. I think uh, puts pressure on the guy again. Well, three up through ten. This is a... One of the holes where they don't get a shot. If they can have it, come away with the hole. I mean, well, they're, in, they're in good. They're favourites for, for for winning the hole now. Um, it's one of those holes where they're you know, because it's such a short hole anyway. The girls way, just played it sensibly. The way the girls are playing with the holes that are still available and the shots that are still got available. If they win this hole, is there any way back? So what's that? Four up. It'll be four up through eleven. I'm, if they I'm staying in the present, Ian. If. Um, so, so I think they're in, to, they're, I <laughs> they're, in a, they're in a good they're in a good shape. We've got a shot hole next, but it's a tough shot hole. Um, yeah, who knows? The, the guys need to stiff this one, put this one, stiff this one to have any chance to, to win this hole. They just don't need to do anything silly, did they, guys? Just let's watch. Don't kill me. Looking good. Great shot. Wonderful shot there. Back in it. There we go. Still a long course. This is a, a hole really where the boys kind of needed to win, you feel. So through ten. Earlier. Give me. It's parts in a terrible place, haven't it? Wet enough. So you can see uh, the puddle starting to form here now. It's a challenge, it's tough, but it's incredibly exciting. What 
Chelsea wider. Rachel Gawley, they are three up through ten. We're on the eleventh here. Par four, short par four. 294, I think, from the tee box. And this would be to win. Oh, it's close, but not quite. Just pushed to the right. Here's Paul Hendrickson now. Needs to put this one away. And he misses. So Rachel Gawley, Lottie Woe, they move up. They're four up through 11 here in the final. And we're going to a hole now where they have the shot. It's intriguing. It's exciting. It's advantage to the girls here. Side of twelve. My fault. Whenever we turn up to when, whenever we turn up to broadcast live, <laughs> whenever we turn up to broadcast live, you guarantee brain. You just know it. <laughs> so uh, the 12th here uh, it is a par four, 416 yards. As we heard, they've got the shot, but it's a it's a tricky hole. We heard from Luke there. You've got to carry it a bit of a way. But they really are playing incredibly well, Rachel and Lottie. They've played incredibly well all week. Of course, you know, we can't hide from the fact that they have an advantage. You know, that 10 shots, you can't get away from it. But that's the rules. That's how it is. Everybody knows it. It's the same for everybody. Some may argue that perhaps Rachel and Lottie are too good to, to have the 10, and they probably are too good. But they are amateurs. They're only 17 and 18. And if they win, it will be thoroughly deserved. We've known Rachel and Lottie for quite some time now. We've broadcast them live on the Faldo series. Uh, for England golf events and even on the 2020 Pro Tour as well. And it's been a pleasure actually to see their rise in the game. They're two names that you will definitely hear about on the Ladies European Tour, maybe even the LPGA. As I've said before, Lottie Wode's just received a call up to the Curtis Cup squad as well. Guess what I didn't do today as well? I didn't bring a change of clothes. There you go. Right, let's head up down the fairway, shall we? And uh, watch the second shots. So the part four, 12th here. It's another hole where the girls get a shot to. Can they take advantage? Can they get to five up? If they do, is there any way back? They're four up through 11. They do have that big advantage. But it's not over yet.
coming back in. We've got it. It's back. It's back. Great job, boys. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. We just ran into a very had to quickly change a battery. Uh, we've got uh, the shot over here. I'll get out the way. Uh, it looks like we had a bit of commotion actually over on the left side with Lottie and Rachel. A bit of four up here. I just coming back. Hello, welcome. Welcome to our live coverage. It's the Sunningdale Foursomes. It's the very, very final day and it's the final. And Lottie White and Rachel Gordy at four up through 11. Let's get ourselves up a bit, but I think. We might be in a bit of trouble. We were just uh, changing the battery there, but here we go. We're back live. You can see how wet it is if you are just tuning in, if you are just joining us. It is uh, now, yeah, good idea, getting quite torrential. We are seeing quite a few puddles forming. As I said a few times, there's no danger of us not finishing. We will finish. You will hear from your champions today. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the coverage so far. Do uh, drop us a comment. Remember, we can see the comments. If we get a chance, we'll read them out as well. And uh, don't forget, if you do want to watch Live Sport 2022, Live Sport now on YouTube. There's a link in the body of this broadcast to take you straight there. Make sure you hit subscribe. Luke Bone doing a great job on the bag for Rachel Gawley today. A big thank you to him as well. He joined us on the mic for the semi-finals a little bit earlier. Uh, and he's been joining us throughout this broadcast as well, throughout the final, giving us a bit of insight too. So big thank you to Luke Bone. We caught up with Lottie's dad a bit earlier too. That was nice to hear. Still a big crowd out, as you can see. It actually, I look behind me and it's just an eerie look. The rain streaming down through the trees across the fairway. It's actually a beautifully calming sight. So here's Rachel Gawley here at the 12th. They're four up through. 11. Oh, that looked a very good shot to me. Let's uh, oh, so stay here for this shot, actually. Got Jimmy Roof. Is it Jimmy? I think it is going to be Jimmy to play now. So, Rachel Gawley, Lottie Wode, four up at the minute through 11. Let's bring the buggy round. There we go. Like 
it might be a body job here, Leon. Yeah. Sorry about that. whilst we move the camera around you have to forgive us we are filming all of this off one camera uh, to enable that we can bring you every single shot I'm sure you can appreciate broadcasting live is uh, by no means there are plenty of costs attached to it so we're, we're bringing you every single shot live here of the final of the Sun and Gale foursomes and what a day it's been so far. We brought you the semi-finals earlier. It's Lottie Wide with putter in hand. They're four up through 11. We're here at the 12. Tell to take it away, yes they have. So an important putt here for Paul Hendrickson. Miss it and I believe Lottie and Rachel will go to five. So, Rachel Gawley and Lottie Wode, they move to five up through 12. Let's get that on the screen so you can see. As we head to 12 here, incredible, incredible stuff from the girls. It's a par three now, I believe, come up at 12. Yes, it is, so uh, there's no extra hole here. Can we get this way, guys? Can you? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think so. I had to move the buggy, it's probably not for audio.
Sorry, Leon, I had to go and move the buggy. <laughs> So Lottie Wave, Rachel Gawley, they're five up through 12 here. And Lottie Wave just put it in about 10. Jimmy Roof and Paul Hendrickson, a lot of work to do. They knew that at the start of the day. Don't forget Lottie Wave and Rachel. Because of both lady amateurs playing off plus four, whereas, I'm oh, sorry, playing off four, whereas uh, both Jimmy and Paul as pros, plus one, hence the ten shots. Perhaps it's just been a bit too much to make up. I mean, Rachel and Lottie, they, they are a real talent. They're used to these types of conditions. They're used to the high-pressure matches. They're England golf regulars. Lottie Wode's in the Curtis Cup squad. And here at Sunningdale, in the rain, they're getting the job done. But it's not quite over just yet. Here we are at the 13th green. Look at that, ground staff out now, sweeping away. Big thank you to all the green keepers. They've presented the course in an incredible fashion all week. So five up through 12, We're on the 13th. They could technically win the match here. close and he did it he did it to go in I've told him to take it away so uh, all Rachel's got to do is put it closer really they'll halve the hole and then uh, the girls will be five up through 13 it'll be five up through 13 five up with five to play She's done it. Unbelievable. And they win. They are your champions, Lottie Wade and Rachel Gawley, have won it at 13. Uh, unbelievable. Proud family, proud dad. Look at this coming in, Luke Bone. 
Let's grab a quick word with him as well once all the handshakes are everything. I guess you look a bit surprised there that you even won I, that there, Lottie. I'd forgotten how many holes we had left to play. I thought that was to go draw you know, me. I was just but... working out in my head and I thought, no, it's going to go to 14, surely. Yeah, that's but what not I thought, quite. but then Rachel hold it. So. But you Thank girls you. have been played absolutely incredibly well. But this weather, it's been a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, it's not great, but it's kind of... dry for all the rest yeah. of the days as well. But it got through it. Every time I speak to you guys, it's always after a victory. <laughs> Did you ever lose? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does it feel like to win the Sunnydale Forces? It's yeah. a big event to win. Yeah. So yeah. Like yeah. It was a long week, so yeah, yeah. we've paid a lot of rounds. Yeah, fantastic. I'm going to let you girls get in anyway because I'm getting soaked anyway. Uh, thank you again. It's great to see you guys. Congratulations once again. Luke, uh, if I could just grab you for a second too. Uh, you must be one very proud man right now. Yeah, dead proud. How good were they today, eh? <laughs> Unbeatable. I think, um, it was unbeatable. That was that was uh, just quality goal from start to finish. Hardly put a foot wrong. Used their shot holes, um, and that last hole there just sums it up. Uh, one of the shot holes. One of the sh holes they're not getting a shot and uh, a birdie. Fantastic, isn't it? It is fantastic. Did you enjoy yourself, Ian? I, I, I have, <laughs> I, yeah, I've really had a good time. Actually. I'm also looking really looking forward to getting back in the clubhouse too. Uh, look, big thank you to you. You joined us uh, a little bit earlier. Well, thank you, you very did much. Did a great job on the bag. As oh, well, so yeah. I, a little bit of this. I, I had a, I've had a great week actually. Wednesday was fantastic. Uh, in slightly better weather. I've really enjoyed today. I've enjoyed uh, working alongside you again um, wow. and I'll happily do it again any time in the future, Ian. Look, congratulations. We'll Cheers. catch up in the clubhouse. I'd want to go make sure we grab the two the guys over here as well. Chaps, Paul, Jimmy. Uh, commiserations, but congratulations for getting through to the final. Let's be honest, 10 shots was a hell of a lot to have to deal with, wasn't it, as well? That's, um, that's a lot to give. We were playing quite nicely early on. We were two under through seven holes, I think. Yeah. We were, I think we were two or three down, so we needed to be five under through seven holes, which is a, yeah. it's a big ask in weather like this, you know. So it's been, yeah, it's good. The weather hasn't helped, has it, then, this whole thing? But it's the same for everybody, isn't it? Absolutely. But you said you like this weather, so... Uh... Well, yeah, um, and we played pretty good, but, you know, they're two fantastic players, aren't they? Giving yeah. them ten shots. Like, we just joked then, we don't think McElroy or Rahm would have beaten them this afternoon, so... They're incredibly... I was just saying, actually, they're going to be on the Ladies' European Tour probably make it to the LPGA. I mean, Lottie just been called up to the Curtis Cup squad yeah, as well. So, you can so. see why they're, they're really steady golfers and they didn't, you know, they didn't give us an inch really, they didn't give us a chance. No, so. no I have to say so. the golf has been sensational. Like, yeah. like you said, from you guys as well, yeah. there's been almost no mistakes at all. It's been a lot of love on social media for you too, though. Uh, a word for everybody watching who's been giving us some yeah, support. Yeah, well, yeah, thank, massive thank you for all the support. We, we have noticed it. We've been getting messages coming through and stuff. So, yeah, big thank you to everyone who's been who's been following us. It's been brilliant. Perfect. Final word, Paul. Yeah, no, thank you very much from everyone. Um, yeah, we've had a great week. Um, finally got past the quarterfinals, which was our yes. sort of main aim. But, um, next year, though? Yeah. One more, one more step. So, hopefully we'll be getting a few shots next year. <laughs> You boys are too good for that. No <laughs> yeah. way. Guys, thanks, thanks so much. much. All smiles. Thank you very much. We really appreciate uh, There we go. Uh, that's it. Final is done at the 13th as well. Uh, commiserations there to Jimmy Roof and Paul Hedrickson, although they have played fantastically well this week. Let's just have a look. Just turn the camera around, as you can see. This is what it means. Look, there's proud dad. The family's there, of course. Proud mums as well. Luke Bone, proud coach. Uh, and family all around. How nice is that to see? Fantastic stuff. Rachel Gawley and Lottie Wode, they are the 2022 Sunningdale Forsens champions in the hardest of conditions as well. We've got puddles everywhere. Look at the state of me. I'm an absolute mess, but hey, that's just a standard day anyway for me. Really hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, we've had a wonderful time. Don't forget, live sport now on YouTube. There's a link in the body of this broadcast. Do give it a click. Hit subscribe. Watch live golf. We've got England golf events coming up for you this year. We've got Faldo series. We've got 2020 Pro Tour. We might even have some Challenge Tour coming up. It's all live. It's all free. It's in HD. I think it's time for us, Leon, to get back to the clubhouse. I don't know about you because I think there might be a cold drink waiting for us. Who knows? Uh, from everybody here at Sunningdale, thank you so much for tuning in. We really hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, Drive safely. Northwood, one of their his players. Oh my oh. word! <laughs> on camera. Oh, on camera as well.
and it's in and he's done it and Hugo Leon is going to be the winner look at what it means